good morning. Here we are again, um, back at North Kilworth Wolf. <laughs> uh, we didn't come up last weekend because poor old Lee hasn't been at all well again, have you? Mm -hmm. he's, he's not had a good run of it this winter. Um, anyway, so last night we um, we went to a concert up in um, Northampton, wasn't it? Yeah. And we saw... Um, uh, Oh, bands from the 90s, so it was Happy Mondays, um, Stereo MCs, yeah. and Spiral Carpets. And I've got to say, we had a really, quite blurry eye today, but it was a really good concert. They're touring at the moment, so if anyone um, uh, is our sort of age group, then I recommend you go and see them, because they're very good. Uh, what's on the, pl on the agenda this weekend? Um, I'll probably carry on with the gas pipe. Yeah. Got a test point to put in. Yeah. Um. Maybe the bilge pump. Bilge pump. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? Something else as well. Um. Probably bits and pieces, really, weren't we? We hadn't really made a proper plan, really. We just wanted no. to get up here and just crack on, really. Do some um, stuff, really. But. Yeah. Um. If. I mean, I'll, I'll probably start sanding the walls ready for wallpapering the walls. We're going to use the wall rock, aren't we? Yeah, I might do some of that if we... On the walls, yeah. yeah. So I might get on with a bit about that and sort of start trying to get a few bits finished. I've got seal around the edge of the basin. That's still got to be... So, yeah, around the edge here. But it's really yeah. nice that we can use this water yeah, now because yeah. yeah, um, it means we can fill the kettle up from there. Yeah. So that's all good. Another luxury. Another luxury. Fantastic. Yeah. On the bottom there and the lip up in there. How high? We'll have to see. So we could go 20 mil maybe. So we're just looking at, we're just measuring out for the trims um, before we start the wallpapering maybe, in here. Maybe 10 mil would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, so we're going to, we're just measuring max. out and then we're going to go to Wicks in uh, Rugby and see what they've got. And then we'll just see what they've got because that, that can just go on one edge, can't it? Yeah. Or, well, we'll see what they've got. And then on this one, we want something that's... So it's got to be at least 20 mil, isn't it? So we'll have like a sort of box thing here, will we? Yeah, so like, it'll stand yeah. like that and then lip, lip over yeah. just slightly or whatever. We'll see what they've got. Yeah. So t 20, so 20 mil. Yeah, so if we said 20 mil. Do. So we get that. So we'll have that either side of there. Mm -hmm. Then a different trim along there. Um, then we're going to have that trim that we've said about on the bottom of the upright sheets and um, top sheets. Do we need any other? I don't think we do in here, do we? Because we don't want to cut sheets in here, have we? Because what we'll have to do is like where the sheets. We'll have to put one here, won't we? Yeah, where there's a join. Yeah. One in there. Yeah. I think that's moved. A but on bit. on here we're having the acoustic panel. That's moved a little bit, look. Has it? Yeah, look, it's lifted a little bit. Oh. Might have to um, groove a little bit out there mm. just to release the pressure on there. Okay. Um, I don't think we've got one this side, so we're all right here. Yeah. So we'll only have one there. Yeah, and then we'll have the same there, won't we? Same that side, which will only come to there anyway. So it's not going yeah. to come all the way. The only piece there, piece to there. So I'll just measure out how much we need. So these are one point, it's about 1.8 in here, isn't it? Six foot, so. Um, so what's the, so it will be the same. We said the same in here. Um, Really down, really, <laughs> okay, we've just been shopping. Yeah, so we've um, we, we've decided on some trims that we're going to use through the boat. So um, we weren't sure what to use to start with, but now we've decided on this um, corner trim, well, trim, whatever you want to call it. So that is going to fit on the bottom of the wall panels, so it's a bit long, so I'll cut it here. 
So the idea is that that'll sit in there like so. Like that. So that'll be like that. And we're going to stain it and varnish it to match the other the linings and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be on there like that. We were going to use this up on the top here, but we might have a different idea for that now. We might right, might go for what they call a hockey stick moulding. Um, so it's only got a, a very small upstand on it. Like a lip, yeah. Yeah, like a lip. Um, and then that'll give us more access to get to the screw holes uh, for bringing this down. Because as you remember, we've got all the um, 12 volt um, cables in there. Mm. So we might, we might, we were going to use this, but I don't think we are now. So I think we might change that. Um, and then the other one is just a, uh, a double sided rounded off flat um, trim which we will use oops, up the top here so that's going to go on that like so and then yeah, just to finish it all off and then where we've got the sheets um, that um, meet together we'll, we'll obviously have that going uh, to cover that as a cover strip so okay. yeah so that's um so that's worked that out anyway, because we weren't really sure what we were going to do. But it was nice to go and get and have a look and see what um, yeah. works for us. So obviously we've got all the stain and everything. So we're going to cut these now to size, stain them up. Varnish them. Yeah, varnish them. Um, and then we'll, um, I think what we're going to do, um, because they're not going to need to come off. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to use the sticks like, um, glue, TV, yeah. Um, I, I think that's what we're going to use rather than pinning them. I don't see that being an issue. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that'll be an issue. <laughs> um, but if so, um, we will have to pin them if needs be retrospectively. But at the top, at the moment, that's the plan. So we're just going to use the sticks like. Okay. Well, that's it. Looks good. Is that fitting like that? Yeah, nice. Hold up there then. Yep. Oh no, that's the one that was done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't, don't cut that one again. No. <laughs> Yeah, right, isn't it? brilliant. Uh, ah, no, hang on. We're on the acoustic panel there, aren't we? Yes. All right, so we've got to laugh the acoustic panel, haven't we? Which is how much? <coughs> right, so we've um, we've decided to wait on the trim and stuff because what we need is the um, acoustic panel, which is going to go on the um, like headboard, if you like, in the bar, a bedroom. So um, we're going to get that this week, um, get that in place, and then we can put the trims up because um, that's going to be easier to do it that way. So we're going to leave that for the time being. Um, today we're going to um, concentrate on putting the um, um, the pump, the bilge pump, in the engine bay. So we're going to fit that, and we've got a. Weather's looking all right so far. We've okay. got a rear navigation light as well, um, which we're going to fit. We've got all the wiring all set for both, so um, it shouldn't take us too long to do. Poor old Lee is suffering big time, aren't you? Yeah, that's, all, that's the way it is, isn't it? Mm. So, yeah, that's it for today. Here we are in the sunshine. Engine bay open. Dave's down in the engine bay, aren't you, Dave? Yeah, all here. He's been stuck down there. Yeah. We've come so, up with a new system for powering the boat. Oh, well, we could stick you down there, put a hole through, and then you can paddle. Push point in here. 
<laughs> so you can sit and watch a tully. <laughs> That's like going to be like doing a spin class, isn't it? So um, what the guys are going to do is put in a bilge pump today. Do you want to explain how you're going to do it, Dave? Yeah, so we've got um, a bay here, a bay here and a bay there that may fill up with water, especially from the stirring gland, you get water dripping in from the thing. So we put in a bilge pump yeah. to pump it out. And this is an automatic bilge pump, and it's quite all right to use an automatic bilge pump in this area here, because this boat's got a separate area where the engine sits. So any oil from the engine, any spillages from the engine, goes into here. Right. And it's captured. Yes. So, so we can pump from here with an automatic bilge pump. But you can't pump from in under the engine bay with an automatic bilge pump. It's got to be a manual one. Right. Okay. So we need to buy a manual one as well, Not do we? Not really, no. Um, for w what spillages you get in here from the engine, unless it's a massive spillage, and then, then you've got big problems anyway, um, you can use nappies and that to soak that sort yeah. of stuff up. Yeah, mop it up. It yeah, way. I'll use some of Lee's nappies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, yeah. So that's how it works really. So we're putting that one in there and then we got, we're going to pump the water then straight out um, a skim fitting on the side of the boat. So okay. it means drilling more holes in, uh, in Lee's boat. No wonder Dave's in a good mood yeah, today. That's, good job, that's, good the, job. It, that's his favourite job, drilling holes in our boat. Yeah, yeah nice yeah. sunny day. Nice sunny day, sun shining yeah. down on you. Yeah. Dave's getting very excited about going into the water. In a couple of weeks' time. 16.7 maps on the solar panels. Amazing. It's weird. It's absolutely weird. Some days you get the sun comes up, full sun goes over like that, and you're getting like about three amps at the solar. And then today, or just recently, the last four or five days, it's been up 16, 16.7 amps. It's crazy. Gosh. So there must be something in the atmosphere that that that, that stops the solar from coming through. You've got, have you been painting? You've got some paint on yes, your head. Yes, let's yeah. do the grey. I've done the Oh, engine, yes, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah so I've, I've made a classic mistake. I got in a bilge and I thought, ah, that's the oldest bit. I'll lay down on there and paint the top of it, which I've done. And then when I went to paint the bottom bit, my head's rubbing on the top of the paint. <laughs> you are funny. That's what we bought you that hard hat for, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Instant perm. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really see. Can you turn around, please, Dave? Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Just put the oh. We can't get two, two jubilee clips on there. You should really double jubilee clip everything, but that's solid enough, ain't it? Yeah. So, Mary Lee, you don't want to put that there. That's a place there. Yeah. What well, I'm thinking. Yeah, because that'll be away from anything to do with the engine then, won't it? If you come up there, so maybe let's try around the other way then. That goes in like that. Take that side here. Like that. Yeah. It's out of the way, isn't it? It's certainly bad. You ain't gonna put your foot in there, no. are you? No. And then that will come over like yeah. that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you can see. Come down a bit. Over like that. And then we can go out. It will go up like that and out yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Sounds good to me. Where did I put my brackets? Where's that? I'm working on it. That's the I've got a sharpie. That's brilliant. Can you get the lid off? Because I can never get the lid off. Yeah. Well, I think that's good there. I'm going to put one there, right? Yeah. Have you got um, just a straight edge that go sort of like, not a long one, something about that long, just a bit of wood about that long? Any old thing will do. Right, that goes up like that. Yeah. 
good. Put one of them on there. Yeah. Right, like that. And one on there. Like that. One there. Yeah. One so, what, over there. so what do I need now? Cable ties? Yeah, you'll need cable ties for that. Right, let's get that. We switched on late. Right, right. Sounded there, Lee. Yeah. Yeah. One eighty, if you got a bit. <coughs> Mind you, just splatter all over this fucking car. Thank you. 
五十八了。Some of uh, red oxide the other day. Oh, it's 
sank as you said, look at some. No, I bought a five litre tub. Oh, right. 32 quid. Oh, that's alright. Where'd you get it from? Um, it's a farm shop place. If you go, if you want to go to Lutterworth, you can go on the main road, like the road right out through. And when you get in the village, you go past the speed camera. Right. Yeah. And as you go down, it's out towards the golf course. Oh, right. Take the road on the way out there, just follow all the way around. You don't have to turn off anyway, just keep going on that road all the way along. And there's a little village, um, Smurton? Hmm. There's a little farm shop in there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, it's a little family run business. It's pretty good. Mm. And bloody good prices. Yeah. They do the um, the oak. Oak. Um, two metre four hundred by. Oh, sure. Two hundred by railway sleepers. Oh, so solid oak mm. railway sleepers. And they're good finish, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, good finish. they brand new. Green cut, mind you. Yeah, yeah old railway sleepers. Um, bloody good price. Very good price. Mm. I don't know what the prices are now. I wouldn't like to say what the prices are now. But Mick went out and got uh, two or three to put his boat on when he went for his kit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll cut them there, so. Yeah. And that's what I bought with Red Ops on there. So I sprayed all the, I used 10 litres in the side of the yeah. yeah. It was all steel for that. There was nothing else in there except for me. Yeah, I remember you doing that. I sprayed the whole bloody place in Red Oxide. Got everywhere, all in underneath it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the beauty of the spray, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, that'll do us there. We'll keep that out because we're going to need that for. Yeah, we'll just yeah. stick it under there. Here's the lid. Oh. As you can see, Lee's measuring for the um, skin fitting. Probably can't see it very well under there. Stick a flex on there. Can I pinch your blue stuff? Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. Horrible stuff, isn't it? Right. Can't really see what Dave's Wash doing. <laughs> Got some of that blue stuff. What are you doing, Lee? Uh, I'm just getting these cables. Can I have a couple more cable ties, Lee? Yeah. It's cables for the build to come. Okay.
You've got that cutter, blue cutter nearly. which you shouldn't have to because the holes are here so all the water should go all you've got to do is stand on this side of the boat lean it over and all the water will come into here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right yeah but if you ever got to move it you can take this off take this out and the cable will be loose then. yeah all right yeah yeah right. oh that sounds lovely and warm makes a change doesn't it eh? yeah it does yeah, it like, have you got a bit of instructions see which yeah. is which is auto but it's a brown line white you think it'd have different colours with it. Yeah. You wanted it to go if you switch, switch the switch off yeah. yeah yeah that would be manual yeah. 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 Yeah
not a long automatic, it's not a problem. It's just, uh, right, that should do us there. Right, uh, Can we get all them in there? Can we do it with it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. They joined together back there. Just pulled up three black, blue, and red. Right, that's it. Grab us some wire ties. I need one, two, three, about four, five, six. I don't know. Yeah, lovely neat job. We'll put that one in under there, look, <coughs> like that, so it's protected a bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Don't forget that there. Do we, do we need to put some conduit on those cables as well? Yeah, could do a bit of conduit. Ah, tell you what, you use that black stuff would be good. Should we, yeah, should I get that? Yeah, good <laughs> idea. Well done, Lee. Yeah, that's brilliant stuff. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a lot there. Mm. I'll stop the electric. <laughs> We've got loads, Dave, yeah. so. Haven't we? Yeah. Got loads up to the bed, I think. No, it's here. Oh, right, got it all there, yeah. It's a rock. Yeah, it's nice. Isn't it, it? it was one of my mistakes. Oh, well, good mistake to make. It was one of my mistakes, yeah. I bought the wrong size. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you can use it now. It always comes around, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. What, leaves mistakes? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they work out. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> How are you feeling, Lee? Am I? Seems better. Right. Come down with colours again, Lee. again it's definitely really up and down isn't it this yeah. is yeah I don't really notice the dogs anymore. Oh, I do on occasion. Well, we haven't heard, I, I've heard them for a long time and they just sort of fired up now, so. Yeah. Well, I suppose. Uh, time of the year, like you say. Yeah. Can you pull it through. Yeah, I'll go. No, just, the, just the, the black. This. That's it. It's all through. That'll do. Lovely. 
right? Anyway, I hope um, you enjoyed watching that. Dave's done a lovely, neat job in there. So um, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.